The system of reservation in India is comprising series of measures, such as reserving access to seats in the various legislatures, to government jobs, and to enrollment in higher educational institutions. The reservation nourishes the historically disadvantaged castes and tribes, listed as Scheduled Castes and Scheduled Tribes SCs and STs by the Government of India and also those designated as Other Backwards Classes OBCs. The reservation is undertaken to address the historic oppression, inequality and discrimination faced by those communities and to give these communities a place. It is intended to realize the promise of equality enshrined in the Constitution. The Constitution prohibits untouchability and obligates the state to make special provision for the betterment of the SCs and STs. Over the years, the categories for affirmative action, also known as positive discrimination, have been expanded beyond those to the OBCs. Reservation is governed by the Constitution, statutory laws and local rules and regulations. The SCs, STs and OBCs, and in some states backward classes among Muslims under a category called BC M, are the primary beneficiaries of the reservation policies. There have been protests from groups outside the system who feel that it is inequitable. <laughs> Historical background the primary objective of the reservation system in India is to enhance the social and educational status of underprivileged communities and thus improve their lives. The Government of India believed that it was important to give benefits to people who lack cognitive ability so that they have a chance to establish a livelihood. The cost of these benefits would be paid by all taxpayers of India and international funding agencies such as World Bank, IMF, and Asia Development Bank. Before independence Topic. Quota systems favouring certain castes and other communities existed before independence in several areas of British India. Demands for various forms of positive discrimination had been made, for example, in 1882 and 1891. Shahu, the Maharaja of the princely state of Kolhapur, introduced reservation in favour of non-Brahmin and backward classes, much of which came into force in 1902. He provided free education to everyone and opened several hostels to make it easier for them to receive it. He also tried to ensure that people thus educated were suitably employed, and he appealed both for a class-free India and the abolition of untouchability. His 1902 measures created 50% reservation for backward communities. The British Raj introduced elements of reservation in the Government of India Act of 1909 and there were many other measures put in place prior to independence. A significant one emerged from the Round Table Conference of June 1932, when the Prime Minister of Britain, Ramsay MacDonald, proposed the communal award, according to which separate representation was to be provided for Muslims, Sikhs, Indian Christians, Anglo-Indians, and Europeans. The depressed classes, roughly corresponding to the STs and SCs, were assigned a number of seats to be filled by election from constituencies in which only they could vote, although they could also vote in other seats. The proposal was controversial, Mahatma Gandhi fasted in protest against it but many among the depressed classes, including their leader, B. R. Ambedkar, favoured it. After negotiations, Gandhi reached an agreement with Ambedkar to have a single Hindu electorate, with Dalits having seats reserved within it. Electorates for other religions, such as Islam and Sikhism, remained separate. This became known as the Pune Pact. After independence. Topic. After the independence of India in 1947 there were some major initiatives in favour of the STs, SCs and after 1980s in favour of OBCs, other backward castes. The country's affirmative action programme was launched in 1950 and is the oldest such programme in the world. A common form of caste discrimination in India was the practice of untouchability. SCs were the primary targets of the practice, which was outlawed by the new Constitution of India. In 1954, the Ministry of Education suggested that 20% of places should be reserved for the SCs and STs in educational institutions with a provision to relax minimum qualifying marks for admission by 5% wherever required. 
In 1982, it was specified that 15% and 7.5% of vacancies in public sector and government aided educational institutes should be reserved for the SC and Saint candidates, respectively. A significant change began in 1978 when the Mandal Commission was established to assess the situation of the socially and educationally backward classes. The Commission did not have exact population figures for the OBCs and so used data from the 1931 census, thus estimating the group's population at 52%. In 1980 the Commission's report recommended that a reserved quota for OBCs of 27% should apply in respect of services and public sector bodies operated by the union government. It called for a similar change to admissions to institutes of higher education, except where states already had more generous requirements. It was not until the 1990s that the recommendations were implemented in union government jobs. The Constitution of India states in Article 15 4, Nothing in Article 15 or in Clause 2 of Article 29 shall prevent the state from making any special provision for the advancement of any socially and educationally backward classes of citizens of or for the scheduled castes and the scheduled tribes. Article 46 of the Constitution states that the state shall promote with special care the educational and economic interests of the weaker sections of the people, and, in particular, of the scheduled castes and the scheduled tribes, and shall protect them from social injustice and all forms of exploitation." The Supreme Court of India ruled in 1992 that reservations could not exceed 50%, anything above which it judged would violate equal access as guaranteed by the Constitution. It thus put a cap on reservations. However, there are state laws that exceed this 50% limit and these are under litigation in the Supreme Court. For example, in the state of Tamil Nadu the caste-based reservation stands at 69% and applies to about 87% of the population. <inaudible> reservations in employment a fixed percentage of India's government and public sector jobs are made exclusive for categories of people largely based on their caste or tribe. The 1992 Supreme Court ruling in the Indra Sani case said that reservations in job promotions are unconstitutional, but allowed its continuation for five years. In 1995, the 77th Amendment to the Constitution was made to amend Article 16 before the five-year period expired to continue with reservations for SC, STs in promotions. It was further modified through the 85th Amendment to give the benefit of consequential seniority to SC, Saint candidates promoted by reservation. The 81st Amendment was made to the Constitution to permit the government to treat the backlog of reserved vacancies as a separate and distinct group, to which the ceiling of 50% did not apply. The 82nd Amendment inserted a provision in Article 335 to enable states to give concessions to SC, Saint candidates in promotion. The validity of all the above four amendments was challenged in the Supreme Court through various petitions clubbed together in M. Nagaraj and others versus Union of India and others, mainly on the ground that these altered the basic structure of the Constitution. In 2006, the Supreme Court upheld the amendments but stipulated that the concerned state will have to show, in each case, the existence of compelling reasons which include backwardness, inadequacy of representation and overall administrative efficiency, before making provisions for reservation. The court further held that these provisions are merely enabling provisions. If a state government wishes to make provisions for reservation to SC, STs in promotion, the state has to collect quantifiable data showing backwardness of the class and inadequacy of representation of that class. In 2007, the government of Uttar Pradesh introduced reservation in job promotions. However, citing the Supreme Court decision, the policy was ruled to be unconstitutional by the Allahabad High Court in 2011. The decision was challenged in the Supreme Court, which upheld it in 2012 by rejecting the government's argument because it failed to furnish sufficient valid data to justify the move to promote employees on a caste basis. Topic reservations in education Topic In India scholarships or student aid is available for, SCs, STs, BCs, OBCs, women, Muslims, and other minorities. 
Only about 0.6% of scholarships or student aid in India is based on merit. Given the grossly inadequate representation of above mentioned categories in employment and education due to historic, societal, and cultural reasons, the University Grants Commission (UGC) provides financial assistance to universities for the establishment of special cells for SC STs. The cells help universities implement the reservation policy in student admission and staff recruitment processes for teaching and non-teaching jobs. They also help the SC Saint categories integrate with the university community and help remove the difficulties SC Saint individuals may have experienced. New rules implementation of UPA government do not provide scholarship scheme and reservation quota of students and employees of colleges under central university and state university approved by the UGC. Topic beneficiary groups of the reservation system Topic The quota system sets aside a proportion of all possible positions for members of a specific group. Those not belonging to the designated communities can compete only for the remaining positions, while members of the designated communities can compete for either reserved or open position. Seats are reserved for people under the following criteria. Topic Kasta Topic According to the Dharma Shastras in Hinduism, the society can be divided into four categories based on the birth and occupation of the family, a person is born into. Brahmins Kshatriyas Vaishyas Sudras Kasted Based Reservation, background in India in central government funded higher education institutions, 22.5% of available seats are reserved for scheduled caste SC and scheduled tribe street students, 7.5% for STs, 15% for SCs. This reservation percentage has been raised to 49.5% by including an additional 27% reservation for OBCs. This ratio is followed even in Parliament and all elections where a few constituencies are earmarked for those from certain communities which will next rotate in 2026 per the Delimitation Commission. The exact percentages vary from state to state. In Haryana, the reservation is 20% for SCs, 16% for backward class A, 11% for backward class B, 10% special backward class, 10% economically backward in open caste and 3% for physically handicapped, 70% total based on local demographics. In Tamil Nadu, the reservation is 18% for SCs, 1% for STs, 20% BC and 30% MBC, 69% total based on local demographics in Jharkhand. The reservation is 11% for SCs, 27% for STs and 22% OBC, 60% total based on local demographics. In Maharashtra, the reservation is 13% for SCs and 7% for STs, 32% OBC, 52% total based on local demographics in Karnataka. The reservation is 15% for SCs and 3% for STs, 32% OBC, 50% total based on local demographics in Kerala. The reservation is 8% for SCs and 2% for STs, 40% OBC, 50% total based on local demographics in Uttar Pradesh. The reservation is 21% for SCs and 2% for STs, 27% OBC, 50% total based on local demographics in Bihar. The reservation is 15% for SCs and 1% for STs, 34% OBC, 50% total based on local demographics in Madhya Pradesh. The reservation is 16% for SCs and 20% for STs, 14% OBC, 50% total based on local demographics in Rajasthan. The reservation is 16% for SCs and 12% for STs, 26% OBC, 54% total based on local demographics in northeast India, especially in Arunachal Pradesh, Meghalaya, Nagaland and Mizoram. Reservation for Saint in state GOVT, jobs is 80% with only 20% unreserved. In the central universities of NEHU and Rajiv Gandhi University, 60% of seats are reserved for Saint students. In Andhra Pradesh, 29% of educational institutes and government jobs are reserved for OBCs, 33.33% for women, 15% for SCs, 6% for STs. In West Bengal, 35% of educational institute seats and government jobs are reserved for SC, Street, and OBC 22% SC, 6% Street, 7% for OBC A and B. 
In West Bengal there is no reservation on religious basis but some economically and educationally backward Muslim castes basis surnames pertaining to different profession e.g. cobbler, weaver etc. have been included along with their Hindu counterparts in OBC list namely OBC A and OBC B, in both lists caste from both communities are there. But in higher educational institutes, till now there is no reservation for the OBC community but there is reservation in regard to admission in primary, secondary and higher secondary studies. Topic gender Topic The Women's Reservation Bill was passed by the Rajya Sabha on 9 March 2010 by a majority vote of 186 members in favour and one against. As of March 2013, the Lok Sabha has not voted on the bill. Critics say gender cannot be held as a basis for reservation alone other factors should also be considered e.g. economic, social conditions of woman candidate especially when applying reservation for educated women. There also is a growing demand for women reservation in pre-existing reservations like OBC, SC, Saint, physically handicapped etc. Some groups still demand that reservation for women should be at least 50% as they comprise 50% of the population. In Gujarat, 33% of posts are reserved for females in all government departments and services, such as police, health, education, and general administration. Topic religion topic There is no reservation granted on the basis of religion in the central educational institutions at the national level, although reservation has been extended to religious minorities in some states. The Tamil Nadu government has allotted 3.5% of seats each to Muslims and Christians, thereby altering the OBC reservation to 23% from 30% since it excludes persons belonging to other backward castes who are either Muslims or Christians. The government of Andhra Pradesh introduced a law enabling 4% reservations for Muslims in 2004. This law was upheld by the Supreme Court in an interim order in 2010 but it constituted a constitution bench to look further into the issue. The referral was to examine the constitutional validity of quotas based on religion. Kerala Public Service Commission has a quota of 12% for Muslims. Religious minority Muslim or Christian educational institutes also have 50% reservation for Muslim or Christian religions. The central government has listed a number of Muslim communities as backward Muslims, making them eligible for reservation. Topic controversy topic The Union government on of December 2011 announced establishment of a sub-quota of 4.5% for religious minorities within the existing 27% reservation for other backward classes. The reasoning given was that Muslim communities that have been granted OBC status are unable to compete with Hindu OBC communities. It was alleged that the decision was announced as the Election Commission announced assembly elections in five states on 24 December 2011. The government would not have been able to announce this due to the model code of conduct. On 12 January 2012, the Election Commission stayed implementation of this decision for violation of the model code of conduct. Later, Justice Satcher, head of the Satcher Committee that was commissioned to prepare a report on the latest social, economic and educational condition of the Muslim community of India, criticised the government decision, saying, such promises will not help the backward section of minorities. It is like befooling them. These people are making tall claims just to win elections. He suggested that instead of promising to give reservations, the government should focus on basic issues of improving administration and governance. On the 28th of May 2012, the Andhra Pradesh High Court quashed the sub quota. The court said that the sub quota has been carved out only on religious lines and not on any other intelligible basis. The court criticized the decision. In fact, we must express our anguish at the rather casual manner in which the entire issue has been taken up by the central government. Topic reservations in Andhra Pradesh. Topic Andhra Pradesh state percentage of reservation is equals 50% approximately. 66.66% reservations, including women, are applicable in Andhra Pradesh in education and government jobs. Scheduled castes 15% Scheduled tribes 6% Backward classes A, B, C, D 25% Physically handicapped Blind, Deaf and Dumb and OPH 3% 1% each Ex-servicemen APMS only 1% 0.5% in general Women 33.33% In all categories, means 16.66% in general category Total percent of reservations 46% It is quite compliant with the Supreme Court work 
word of keeping caste based reservations under 50% cap addition of disabled, ex servicemen, women in general category 16.66% makes it 66.66% school admissions under RTE, though Andhra Pradesh GOVT says economically backward children are admitted into private schools under Right to Education RTE Act, but the fact is children are admitted into private schools based on caste based reservations. Check page 9 and point number 4 of this below document the reservation for women cuts across all classes and communities and is a horizontal and not vertical reservation. As such the total percent of reservations has to be counted at 50% only, and that is in consonance with the Supreme Court dicta that reservations in general ought not to exceed 50% of the posts, seats if the right to equal opportunity to all without discrimination guaranteed under Article 16 is to be vindicated and respected. Topic reservations in Maharashtra Topic Maharashtra has 52% reservation in educational institutions and government jobs. The government of Maharashtra added Marathas 16% and some Muslim subcastas 5% to the reservation in 2014 but the move was rejected by the Mumbai High Court later. If this reservation to Maratha and Muslim subcastes is implemented, it will leave the remaining 27% to general, open category. Topic. Excluded from the reservation system Topic. People in the following categories are not entitled to take advantage of the reservation system for OBCs Topic. Creamy layer Topic. The term creamy layer was first coined in 1975 in the state of Kerala versus N. M. Thomas case when a judge said that the "...benefits of the reservation shall be snatched away by the top creamy layer of the backward class, thus leaving the weakest among the weak and leaving the fortunate layers to consume the whole cake." The 1992 Indra Sani vs Union of India judgment laid down the limits of the state's powers, it upheld the ceiling of 50% quotas, emphasized the concept of social backwardness", and prescribed 11 indicators to ascertain backwardness. The judgment also established the concept of qualitative exclusion, such as, "...creamy layer". The creamy layer applies only to OBCs. The creamy layer criteria was introduced at 1 lakh rupees in 1993, and revised to 2.5 lakh rupees in 2004, 4.5 lakh rupees in 2008, and 6 lakh rupees in 2013, but now the ceiling has been raised to 8 lakh rupees in Sept 2017. In October 2015, the National Commission for Backward Classes NCBC proposed that a person belonging to OBC with an annual family income of up to 15 lakh rupees should be considered as minimum ceiling for OBC. The NCBC also recommended subdivision of OBCs into backward, more backward, and extremely backward groups and to divide the 27% quota amongst them in proportion to their population, to ensure that stronger OBCs do not corner the quota benefits. However, creamy layer exclusion is only in OBC quota, but not in SC, Saint quotas. Topic. Institutions exempted from reservation Topic. The following institutions have been kept out of the purview of Central Educational Institutions Reservation in Admission Act, 2006 CDAC, Center for Development of Advanced Computing, Pune Homi Baba National Institute, Mumbai and its ten constituent units, namely Baba Atomic Research Center, Trombay Indira Gandhi Center for Atomic Research, Kalpakam Raja Ramana Center for Advanced Technology, Indore Institute for Plasma Research, Gandhinagar Variable Energy Cyclotron Center, Kolkata Saha Institute of Nuclear Physics, Kolkata Institute of Physics, Bhubaneswar Institute of Mathematical Sciences, Chennai Harish Chandra Research Institute, Allahabad Tata Memorial Center, Mumbai Tata Institute of Fundamental Research, Mumbai Northeastern Indira Gandhi Regional Institute of Health and Medical Sciences, Shillong Physical Research Laboratory, Ahmedabad Space Physics Laboratory, Tiruvananthapuram 
Indian Institute of Remote Sensing, Dehradun following institutions though not specified in the Central Educational Institutions Reservation in Admission Act, 2006, do not have reservation in admission. Sri Mata Vaishno Devi University, Katra Birla Institute of Technology and Science, Palani LNM Institute of Information Technology, Jaipur On 27 October 2015 the Supreme Court directed the state and the central governments to end the regional quota and to ensure that super-speciality medical courses are kept unreserved, open and free from any domicile status after the court had allowed petitions files by some MBBS doctors. <laughs> Advances under the reservation system Topic. The public sector jobs are divided into four categories, Class 1 or Group A, Class 2 or Group B, Class 3 or Group C, and Class 4 or Group D. The Class 1 employees take up 2.2% of the public sector workforce, the Class 2 employees take up 3.3% of the public sector workforce, the Class 3 employees take up 66.8% of the public sector workforce, and the Class 4 employees take up 27.2% of the public sector workforce. See also Court cases relating to India's reservation system Dongar scheduled tribe issue Nationalization Socialism Caste politics in India Reservation policy in Tamil Nadu Self-immolations in India Jat reservation agitation References Topic. Further reading Shori, Arun 2012. Falling Over Backwards, An Essay on Reservations and Judicial Populism. New Delhi, HarperCollins Publishers. ISBN 978-9350293553 Joseph, Manu What If Reservations Had Come to an End in 1960? Outlook. Retrieved 10 April 2018. Topic external links Topic National Commission for Backward Classes National Commission for Scheduled Castes National Commission for Scheduled Tribes Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment